Okay guys, welcome to our living room and um, I'll be going item by item and telling you a little story about how this house came together. As many of you know, I moved here from Puerto Rico and I've said it before, I came with five boxes and luggage, uh, minimal luggage that we could bring and little by little everything fell into place. Now, this is all our before video. Later, we're gonna add some fall touches to this living room. And they're gonna be pretty simple. I'm not like super like over the top. Um, I'm still working. This is a work in progress. As you can see, I only have like one piece of art because I haven't found anything else that makes me happy. No. <laughs> and it's kind of high up there because a lot of the people who visit me are very tall and so everything gets dwarfed when they're in there in my living room and in my house. Um, so as you can tell, I really like the creams and the navy blues and um, really soft textures. Uh, I really love textures. I'm the kind of person that's annoying because when we go to the store and there's something fluffy or soft, I have to touch it. I know, I'm annoying. But anyways, so this is my living room and I'll be telling you little stories about everything that's there. Um, during this video and in some other videos. Hello! Okay, so we're here in my living room. So this is the house that Love built. Now, let me tell you, um, when I accepted the position that I accepted, it was kind of sudden, unexpected. I really wasn't expecting to, uh, I wasn't even expecting anything when I applied, but I was, not expecting to actually be accepted for the position because I'm in Puerto Rico and this position was in Florida and so it required a move and I didn't see that as a possibility but I would be willing to attempt it um, if I felt that it was something that I should do. So fast forward here I am in Florida I accepted the position and um, my first real stress moment was trying to cope with the idea of not having a place to live. I was freaking out, okay? You're talking to somebody who bought a house when she was single. I was, was, I was single and I knew that I wanted to have at least that kind of security of having a place, a stable place to live, so I bought a house. Um, and so now I was going to leave my house behind and I was going to venture to a place um, that I had never heard of, um, of course, Orlando, but this part of Orlando, and try to find a house without even being there. Um, and that's a whole other story. But once I had a place, what were we gonna sit on? What were we gonna sleep on, etc. So all of the elements that came together, the village that gathered around our family, we're so grateful for. And let me tell you something, Everything in this house has a story and has come from someone or in some way that is kind of miraculous or amazing. So I'm going to start with what we're sitting on right now and you saw at the beginning of the video. These couches used to belong to my brother. My brother moved to Florida a long time ago. Now let me tell you about my brother. My brother and I um, have a really large age difference. And so we never like really hung out that much when he was little because he was little and I was a lot older. And so, and we had different tastes. And so he kind of had his world and I had my world. Um, and now I'm getting the amazing opportunity to be able to share with him and his family. And he was part of the village that gathered together to welcome us to Florida and put everything in place. And these used to be his couches. Dun, dun, dun. The younger brother, yes, I inherited something from my younger brother, which is weird. Um, and so these were the couches. Now, I need to explain something to you. I like furniture that is compact, but comfy. And these are exactly that. And I had a vision of what I wanted. I, In my mind, I said, you know what? I'm gonna start life all over again, and I want things to be cute. For too long, I had to focus on just making sure that things were safe and that we had enough, etc. 
Um, I'd been through a difficult, uh, not a difficult, but financially difficult relationship that, um, that at the end I was just trying to make it. Okay. So as a single mom, and so I said, you know what, now if I start my life over again, I want to make sure I get things that I really like that are cute. <laughs> yes, I'm always practical, but I'm at a point where I'm like, I want to enjoy cute things, even if it means that I'm not going to have anything to sit on until I can afford it. And lo and behold, my village has come together and I have this. The way they look is exactly the way I wanted them to look. Now, mind you, they do not look like this for real. Right here on top of them, what I have is a Great Bay Homes cover that is kind of a velour type cover because I'm very tactile. I like things that have texture to them and these are kind of like a velvety um, stretch material and um, they're so easy to clean. You might say, oh my goodness, you have a, a boy and you have kids over all the time, but these things are super easy to clean. And you can take them off and wash them if you need to, but anyone who has tried to slip cover furniture knows that it's a pain in the wazoo. But there are upholstery pins, and these are little pins that have a transparent head and have a um, spiral a kind of tack or nail. It's kind of like a, a spiral twisty nail and what you do is you screw it into the furniture or you screw it into the cushions and it does not move so I don't have that problem of it moving. This furniture was not necessarily like as far as decor wise the color scheme that I wanted. Let me see I'm gonna I'm gonna like drag some what the original because I have an ottoman that I cover with a throw but it's the original color so hold on wait a minute. I'm going to get a hernia doing this probably. It's not that heavy. But I want to show you how different it is from what I have now. Now, it is kind of like a light brown microfiber with a vinyl brown, uh, chocolate brown. And that is what this furniture is like underneath, but no longer. <laughs> so let me get rid of this. Do, 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 do. You see, because there's always a way and there's always the opportunity for a makeover, for a change, people, and that applies to life as well. You might be a little wrinkled, you might be a little stained, you might be a little broken, you might be a little marred, but you know what? In God, He does better than cover. He completely changes and He can do that in your life. Now this is Everyday Eternal where we try to find eternal truths in everyday situations. These sofas, thanks to my brother and his family, thank you Jackie, thank you David, thank you Jacob, thank you Davisito, um, are really like the centerpiece of my living room. They're like great and they're like what I wanted because I like this light color, the softness, but the light color, the texture, and the intensity of the navy blue accents that I have. It's kind of like me. I can be tranquil, but I can be intense as well, as you can tell from my videos. So I want to show you some details. Right here, there is this pillow. This pillow, and I know there's a lot of stuff nowadays that says, says blessed, but this pillow describes exactly how I feel every time I walk into this house. And every time I remember all the people who came together so that we would have a place to sleep, a place to sit, a place to eat, a place to hang out, a TV to watch, that was like a super miracle. You'll see. I'm going to tell you about it. But this is exactly how I feel. I feel so blessed. P.S. This was at Hobby Lobby. It was on a super sale, so I got it. And it is kind of like, ding, whenever I walk in and I see the word, I'm like, hey amen, I am so blessed. Um, so for now, I just want to leave it at this, the couches. They aren't what they seem to be. Underneath, they're a different color, but they turned into what I wanted them to be. 
where there's a will, there's a way, and you find a way, and you make the changes that you need so that you can be happy, so that you can be content. And if it weren't for the generosity of my brother and his family, we would not be sitting on these wonderful couches. And guys, I'm tactile, so I enjoy just sitting here and touching it. And I also freeze all the time, so these covers are very warm. I know for some people that'll be a turnoff, but for other people, it's like, oh, yummy. Um, it really is. It's like a throw, um, really soft. So that's the story behind my sofas. This is the house that love built, literally people. This is the house that love built and love filled. And um, I just want to encourage you that are out there and are like looking at decorating videos and things like that and are like, Ugh, I could never have any of that stuff. Well, you know what? You work with what you have. And my brother gave me his, I think these were his family room um, furniture, sofas, and now they're my living room sofas. And you have no idea how many people have actually been on these sofas and how many kids have been here with their feet, with their food and all this stuff. Because guys, when it comes to my house, my house is to live in, not to look at. So Great Bay Home furniture covers in cappuccino. Hobby Lobby pillow saying I'm blessed and there are more stories to every piece of furniture here. So keep on watching on Everyday Eternal where we try to find eternal truths in everyday situations. Change is possible people. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Shalom.